In today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to export your beat for collaboration in FL Studio. I have seen most of the people doing this the wrong way. Let's get into it. Rap plus turn of all map. Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. I'm Raklos Beat, a music producer on YouTube and also a loop maker and a mixing engineer. If this is your first time watching me on YouTube, please consider subscribe, like, comment for more tips and tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best settings and the correct way to export your B stems or your vocal stems in FL Studio. In case you are doing a collaboration with someone using a different DAO, it may be the person is using Cubase, Logic Pro Tools, and you are FL user. So there are so many ways you can do this, but I have seen most of the people doing this the wrong way. So let's get into this. This is your FL Studio. Let me open a project real quick. Yeah, so let's say this is the project I'm sending to a different person. Let's say... This beat is not mixed though, but let's say I'm going to export it or the I'm going to export the stems to someone for him to mix the beat for me. So the first step is to route all the instruments in the mixer track here. I'll write, I'll route them here. So these are the instruments. These are my shakers, percussions, loops, and log drums. And so these are my piano beats. Let me play it for you to have a little bit feel of it. Yeah, so this beat is not mixed yet. So let's say I'm sending out to someone, a Pro Tools user, for him to mix it for me. So after I've routed everything here, I will go to File here, Exports, and I will choose Wave File, and I will create my folder over here. Let me say, let me call this I'm a Piano Beats. Okay, I'm a Piano. So this will be my folder on my piano and I will save it. As you can see from this rendering, rendering folder, you will select your split mixer tracks over here. This is the most important thing to select, this one, split mixer tracks. And you can leave this one on wave and you can choose the bit depth. So make sure you choose 24 or 32 bits. But I think 16 is not good for processing, so you can choose 24 bits or 32 bits and maintain the stereo and the rest, you can keep the rest. So the most important thing in this is the split mixer track. So you will start rendering it. Yeah, so our beats is done. Let's say the person is an FL Studio user or any DAO user. So this is how the person is going to receive the projects. As you can see, here are the stems of the projects. So as you can see, this is the percussions, the log drums, the chops, the choir and everything. So let me load them. Sorry. Let me load them back into my DAO. Yeah, so these are the steps of what I played and this is how the person is going to receive the project. This is the current one, I mean the master one, so you can delete it. Yeah, so these are the steps. Yeah, so if the person wants to add anything, you just set the tempo and 
Yeah, the temple. I think this temple is 112. Yeah, you just set the temple and start working on it. That's all. And also, another way to send it is zipping this project file. This happens most in case the person is also an FL Studio user. You can zip it like this. Choose the zip loop package over here and name it. So this, I'm a piano. I'm a piano and you save it over here. So as you can see, it is zipping the folder for you. So in this one, the person will have access to all the plugins you used, the drum kit and everything and how you arrange everything. The person will have it. It will, it will go in the form of project file. Yeah, so we are done. This is the project, as you can see. Go psych, I'm a piano. So you will just send this to the person. The person will just have to open it in his FL studio like this. Yeah, and boom. Here is the project file. So I've showed you two ways to what? Send your beat or your project to someone. The first one mostly happens in case the person is using a different DAO. And the second one, if the person is an FL Studio user, you can use the same thing. So, the third step is also making the project bone. This project bone, project bone or sending the project data files. If you want to send the project data files, it will go with the mixer preset, anything you did on the project. So, in case you have EQs on it and you export it as a project data, all the EQs, everything you did on the beat will go to the person. So, let's try the project data files. I will choose my project data. And as usual, let me create a new folder here. Okay. Let's say I'm doing it in the, inside this folder. So I'll press select folder. And let me check. Yes. These are my files. Again, these are my files. Yes. So as you can see, the same as the rendering one. And you know, this will go with your drum kit and everything. But the first one, it will only export the waves for you. But this one, it will go with your drum kits and everything. And the last one is the project bone. Yeah, the project bone. I think this one will go with your mixer tracks and everything. So let's say I put Fruity EQ3 here. And I put, okay, I maintain this Fruity limiter. So I'm sending it as a project bone. I'll select the folder. And it will start saving as you can see over there this is the folder as you can see there's the mixer track so anything i added on the mixer track will be showed here and in case i did any effects any automation it also comes as well and also my 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 let's say my midis these are my midis as well yeah so the project bone the person will get anything you did on the beats so yeah this is how you export your projects to someone for collaboration i'm raclos beats once again make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel you like you comment thank you for watching my video once again peace out